so much. But 7.53 here in a race to see if gravity is on their side. The students of Folsom High have designed and built their very own soapbox derbies. Okay, let's send it over to Ashley Williams, who's live <laughs> at the high school, to check out the competition. Hi guys, good morning. The school is so excited. Take a look behind me, actually, or behind our photographer. Everyone is excited because they've been trying to do the soapbox derby now for 10 years, or eight years, I should say, and they finally were able to make it happen this year. The students were so creative. Before we talk to the teacher behind this entire project, let's introduce two students here. Tell me your name. Um, Alexander. Alexander. Right. Okay, so right behind me, this is your soapbox, and you guys are again getting ready for today's big race that kicks off at 2 p.m. Tell me. A little bit about the inspiration behind your box. Well, um, at one point, we looked at the price of the wheels and we saw that they were really expensive. So we're like, why be the fastest when we can look the coolest? <laughs> so that's your inspiration, trying to be cool. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to add about your uh, soapbox? Uh, no, I think that's really creative that we were able to open it up from the back, and that's how we get in. Ooh, okay, do, do that for me. Go. And how long did it take you guys to do this? Oh wow! Oh gosh, like three weeks, four, oh, wow. and a lot of days after school okay. this week. Okay. Well, good luck to you. We're gonna head over and see some other soapboxes. But while we do that, Mr. Wright, congratulations on your big inaugural event. Tell me how this project started and what the concept was. Well, this is through my physics courses, and we were studying motion and forces. And I was looking for a hands-on project where we could actually analyze the parallel speed of the cars as gravity is pulling them through and the work done by gravity through the school. Okay. So an application of what we've been learning in class and so forth. Okay, now what were the students given before putting it all together? Uh, axles and steering and brake hardware. Okay. And so they had then they had to come up with their own body and frame okay. and then put it together, then prove that it can steer and brake before we let them race today after this afternoon. Okay, I cannot ignore this situation right here. Tell me your name, sir. Uh, my name's Aram. Hi Aram. Um, obviously you are in a bathtub. How did you create this? How long did it take for you to make? Uh, it took a lot longer than you may expect, actually. It took us um, about a week just to cut the, the uh, side and bottom off. We had to use various different tools that worked to varying degrees, uh, but eventually we got it off. And then we were able to mount it on this bad boy right here, and she goes, wow. she rides pretty smooth now. Yeah. Well, and it's dripping. There's actually water dripping from. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you can you can load up some water right there, and then you just give the rubber ducky a little tug, and I then. I love that. Yeah. I love that. That is so creative. So coming up in the next hour, guys, we will actually see some of the derbies in action. But before we go, come on in. Right. If we could take a shot, please, of our producer Tessa. Tessa. Okay. Um, had you as a, had a, as a teacher For back chemistry. in high school, yep. I, I am told that you were the only teacher that almost failed her. That Almost flunked her. No, they what? So. That's academic Darwinism. <laughs> Tessa, Tessa has a great story. But let me tell you, Tessa was not upset with you. In fact, she gave you a great Christmas present. Take a look at this photo on our PC. It's an actor from Scrubs. She says oh, you look the just the janitor. Right. Neil He's Flynn done. is his name. You look just like him. She sent you a Christmas card, so obviously she cares enough about right. you, but she sent an autographed signing or autographed photo of Neil to you. Right. It's somewhere up in my classroom. You still have that. How long ago was that? Oh, what year did you graduate, Tessa? What year was that, Tessa? Ten years ago, and okay. you still have that. Somewhere, yeah. Wow. Okay, well, we just had, we had to throw that out there. That you almost flunked one of our best producers. Oh, no, yeah. teachers don't flunk this thing. <laughs> the students <laughs> Okay, I'm a little bit more of this big soapbox derby. Also, this kicks off at 2 p.m., so make sure you guys come out and support the students. But a little more fun with this guy. A little bit later. Academic Thanks. Darwinism, he called uh. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Nice. All right. Honestly, 